So, your phone hates your wet hands. Imagine you're just trying to pause Spotify like a normal person, but your screen's ignoring you like you're its ex. So you jab harder because violence usually solves tech problems. But somehow, accidentally, you've ordered three pizzas, blocked your mom, and texted your ex miss you. Impressive. Now, since most of us have the attention span of a distracted goldfish, here's the quick answer in case you want to go back to scrolling. Your touchscreen uses electricity to detect your finger, and water messes with the electricity. That's it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. But if you're sticking, then please allow me to explain. I promise it'll be worth your time. To figure out why touchscreens and wet fingers have beef, we have to go back to 1965, a time when computers weighed more than your hopes and dreams. That's when a guy named E.A. Johnson invented the first touchscreen. It was called a resistive touchscreen, which, as the name implies, resisted being touched properly. These were made of two flexible layers coated with conductive material, separated by a small insulating gap. When you press down, the layers would squish together and register a touch. This was revolutionary at the time, mainly because there wasn't much competition. You'll still find them today in places like ATMs and mall kiosks that haven't been updated since 2007. But as with all things, technology got better, or at least more fragile. Fast forward to 2025, and we've now got something that feels like witchcraft. Capacitive touchscreens. These bad boys don't need pressure to detect your touch. You just hover your greasy finger near them, and you've made a successful connection. Unlike resistive touchscreens, these have multiple layers. But the two that matter are both coated with a transparent conductive material called indium tin oxide, which sounds fancy but is basically the same stuff. These layers are separated by insulator pads, so they don't accidentally make out with each other and short everything. On top... There's a nice glass layer to protect your screen from drops and regret. And on the bottom is the actual display, showing your TikTok doom scroll. The two conductive layers hold electrons, but these electrons are basically asleep and can't move from one layer to another because they've got no energy. Now enter your finger, which is full of salty water and electric potential. When you touch the screen, it disrupts the electric field slightly. That tiny disruption shifts electrons around, creating a voltage. And that's basically how a capacitor work. So now you have a capacitive touchscreen registering your delicate emotional touches. But there's one problem. How does it know where it's being touched? Great question. The indium tin oxide layers are arranged in a grid of invisible horizontal and vertical lines made up of tiny electrodes. Each intersection is like a tiny little capacitor on its own. Your phone's processor is constantly scanning the grid, doing invisible math to detect even small changes in capacitance. When your finger comes in, it messes with that balance just enough to get noticed. The system pinpoints where it happened, and if something on the screen is supposed to react to that touch, it does. For example, touch here and nothing happens, but touch here and suddenly you're subscribed. Magical. Now that we know how your phone detects your sausage fingers, let's talk about why it loses its mind when they're wet. Tap water, basically the kind you'd use to wash your hands or cry into after texting your ex, contains ions. Ions are basically charged particles like sodium and chloride. So when your hands are wet, there's now a thin layer of conductive water between your finger and the screen. This is where the problems start. That water doesn't just sit still, it spreads out. Which means, instead of your phone detecting one specific touch point, it detects chaos. The electric field gets all scrambled, and suddenly your screen doesn't know what to believe anymore. It's like, okay, someone's touching me. Or maybe three people, or a fish. I don't know anymore. So, it gives up, which is fair, same to be honest. Luckily, this is fixable. There are a million advanced, cutting-edge techniques that can help. 1. Dry your hands. 2. Wipe your screen. 3. Wipe your screen, but more seriously. That's, that's pretty much it, honestly. Mm -hmm.